uncle of King Twala. And should he still live, of the rightful King Ignosi. May I ask you to accompany us to our village? I shall do my best to make sure no harm comes to you. Introduce. Are we the first white men you've seen here in the land of the Kukuanas? Not so. Three summers ago, another white man was here. What became of him? He was captured by Twala, who feared him, as he fears all who may defy him. Some say the stranger has been killed, others that he has been imprisoned in a cave hidden somewhere deep within the mountain. Umpopa. I do not believe it is wise at this time for anyone but King Twala to see the royal mark of the turquoise snake which you wear on your chest. It is time to resume our journey. Our noble king is an impatient man. <sighs> Mr. Fargus, I've been carrying this load for eight hours straight. Can we please stop for a bit of a bit of a rest, Gov? Of course, Ambrose. I am a kindly tight man with a heart big like two horses. You may now stop for rest. Halt! <sighs> All right, that's enough rest. We start again. March forward! One, two, one. <laughs> Mr. Fargus, you are a lonely and skunk. Forget it, Craig. It's too late to apologize. Twala and Gagool, the vile witch woman who is his advisor and cohort in evil. Woman of the Kukuana tribe. I, Twala, your king, believe she speaks truth. Therefore, I order that the strangers be executed. Guards, seize them! My honored king, they 
are but innocent travelers making their peaceful way through our land. Spare them, I beg of you. My respected uncle, Invadus, you appear to have great knowledge of these strangers. Can it be that you plan to use them to help you take the throne for yourself? Your Highness knows I would never seek the throne. It belongs only to the rightful king. And I am that king, Twala! And King Twala says, destroy the strangers now. Gods, do as the witch woman says. Seize the strangers and... Seize my uncle, the disloyal Infadus, also. He has been waiting for this chance to betray me. Seize them all! Death to the traitors! Death to the enemies of the rightful king! Gods, stop! You must obey the rightful king, yes! But Twala is not your rightful king! The rightful king is his half-brother, Ignosi, now known as Umbopa. He stands amongst you. He lies. He lies. The half-brother of Twala died as a child, and Twala was chosen to replace him as king. There can be no mistake. The child bore the sacred mark of the turquoise snake on his chest. The witch woman speaks truth! It is a trick! The child died! Lost in the desert! Lost somewhere! No one knows what happened to it! A trick, I tell you! It is no trick! I have always known, from my dreams, that I was of the Kukuana tribe. Evil forces within the tribe conspired to leave me in the desert to die. But somehow, my life was spared, and now I have returned to be your rightful king. I will prove that I am king! I will prove it by the ancient tradition of my people. Mortal Kombat! The winner will be known by all as the rightful king. The loser will die. Imposter, do you dare accept my challenge? I accept. My people will have their true leader. I have 
no wish for your blood. Go, Twala, far from this land, and never seek to return. Never! Umbopa, before you let him go, I must ask him one question. Where is my brother? George Curtis, yellow hair like mine. Where have you imprisoned him? Tell me quickly. My spear hand is a bit itchy these days. Uh, he's imprisoned in the, in the depths of Suleiman's mountain. Reach re to a passage that opens under the cliff on the north slope. Two warriors guard him at all times. shot at the guards from right here. No, we can't shoot them. They're on our side now. They just haven't heard about the change of management in the front office. I have it. Colored gunpowder. Very colorful and very loud when ignited. I shall throw the packets into the cave like clay pigeons and you will fire bullets into them. Ready? Commence play! Henry! Henry! Is that really you? Yes, George. And that must be you. Mother always said I'd turn out to be the neat one in the family. It's good to see you again, George. It's a miracle to see you, or anybody, again, Henry. It's the witch woman, Gargoyle. It was she who told the king to imprison me when she found that I was carrying a map to King Solomon's mines. Ah, then that is where she's going now. Henry, let's follow her. Come, we're wasting precious time. Now tell me, Ambrose, what else from up there do you see? It? What are they doing now? Uh, they're going in a cave. Upside down! Into the cave! Oh, joy, joy! That means they will soon bring it out, the treasure! And the... Upside down? What you mean, nozzlehead? They go into the cave upside down? Oh, that's, that's how it looks to me, Governor. Quick! Come on down before your brains, which you don't have any, fall out.
See, Greg? My plan has worked like magical. Not only do we get them the jewels, but we also get a free ride back to the coast. <laughs> Heebie-jeebie. I must be the world's smartest human person. Shh! Look, he goes away, the sailor boy. Our big moment, it has arrived. Ah, Commander, we were wondering where you'd gone. Gentlemen, I have succeeded in placing a strong as iron, non-breakable patch on my inflatable balloon. And we may now float comfortably to our destination with the greatest of possible ease. Commander, lead the way. Aye, aye, sir. So, as our little balloon, it fades slowly into the sunset, we and our treasure, we say it bye-bye to Kukwanalan. Bye-bye! And we say it also bye-bye to the four not-so-smart smarties who think they can outwit him, the unsinkable Wolfgang Amadeus Fagus. Oh, oh, oh. And so say all of us. And so say all of us. <laughs> 